prayer in your cabin. Read those books in a blink. Oh yeah. Grab yourself a hot drink because you're watching how to train your Gavin. Yep, that's me. Hey guys, welcome back to How to Train Your Gavin. Today I am going to do a video that a lot of other people have done as well, but I've been directly inspired by Becca from Becca and the Books to do my entire owned physical TBR. Now I did this last year as well, and it was quite nice because people were leaving comments about the books that I should prioritize, and I do own a lot of books. I did get quite a lot of books in 2020, and I'm trying to cut that down in 2021, so hopefully when I do this again in a year's time, there won't be as much on my TBR. Last year, I recall there being 405 books on my physically owned TBR, and it's definitely gone up. It hasn't gone up as much as I thought it would because I did receive around about 500 books in 2020, so I was expecting the number in this video to be a lot higher than it is, but fortunately I have picked up my pace with reading, I have unhauled books from years ago that I just didn't think I would pick up again, and I managed to bring my physically owned TBR down to 539. So obviously that is an increase over the previous year. However, considering I hold around about 500 books, it's not that bad. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it would be in the hour of a thousand, then it would be 539. So I'm going to section this into my graphic novels, and then my arcs, and then my classics, and then my middle grade, and then my young adult, and then my adult. So bear with me. And I apologise in advance if I get any of these age categories mixed up. It's kind of just based on my gut instinct, and I have tried to research these as much as possible. So if something's shelved more as young adult on good reads, then it's probably in my young adult section, but it might not supposed to be, so if I've made any mistakes do let me know in the comments and I'll probably end up moving my shelves around a bit. All of these will be in alphabetical order by author surname as well, and I apologise again in advance if I get any of these author names wrong. Also I have included some books that I've already read in this because I am due a reread for them, so you might say something that I've already read in this list, but it's probably been a long time, my mind's probably a bit fuzzy, and I'm in desperate need of a reread, so those might appear on this list as well. And also before I kick this off as well, do let me know in the comments any of these that I should prioritise this year, any that you've read that I really really need to get to ASAP, let me know. I would love to come back to the comments and help me pick my TBRs every month, so that would be awesome. But anyway, these are all of the books that are on my physically owned TBR. So enough with graphic novels then, I have El Defo by C.C. Bell, When Stars Are Scattered by Victoria Jameson and Omar Mohammed, The Walking Dead Compendium 1 and The Walking Dead Compendium 2 by Robert Kirkman, Charlie Adlard Cliff Rathburn, The Tree Dragon Festival by Kate O'Neill, The Witch Boy by Marley Knox Ostertag, R.L. Stein's Goosebumps Slappy's Tales of Horror by Dave Roman, Gabriel Hernandez, Ted Nahifa, and Jamie Tarlickson. Shades of Magic, The Seal Prince by Victoria Schwab. Charm Season 10, Volume 3 by Pat Chand, Eliza Feliz, and Valentina Cuomo. The Okay Witch by Emma Steinkellner. Saga, Volume 6, Volume 7, Volume 8, and Volume 9 by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples. Stargazing by Jen Wang. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Peel Reflections by Andy Watson, Cliff Richards, and Joe Pimentel. And Buffy the Vampire Slayer, The Remaining Sunlight by Unknown. <laughs> Doesn't actually say. Hmm. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Volume 1, High School as Hell, by Joss Whedon, Jodie Belair, Dan Mora, and Paul Angulo. So that was all of my graphic novels, now on to my arcs. The Dark Lady by Akala, The Night Silver Promise by Annalise Avery, Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo, The Ocean Squid Explorers Club by Alex Bell, Die With Me by Philippe Besson, translated by Molly Ringwald, The Elephant by Peter Canavis, The Ghost Garden by Emma Carroll, The Betrayals by Bridget Collins, The Nesting by C.J. Cook, Una and the Answer to Absolutely Everything by Sam Copeland, The Swords of Silence by Sean Curry, Kingdom Tide by Rai Curtis, The Vanished Bride by Bella Ellis, The Language of Gold by Heather Fawcett, The House Without Windows by Barbara Newell Follett and Jackie Morris, The Lost Ones by Anita Frank, The Last Bear by Hannah Gold, Jane Austen Investigates, The Abbey Mystery by Julia Golding, Maggie Blue and the Dark World by Anna Goodall, Circus Maximus Race to the Death by Annalise Gray, Ramesa A Fairy Tale by Redia Hafiza, The Shadow on the Glass by J.J. A. Harwood, The Memory Thief by Lauren Manzi, The Ghost Factory by Jenny McCartney, Mina and the Undead by Amy McCall, The Night I Met Father Christmas by Ben Miller, Victoria Stitch Bad and Glittering by Harriet Moncaster, Wiganhurst by Michelle Paver, The Incredible 
Records Smashers by Jenny Pearson, My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell, The Boy Who Made Everyone Laugh by Helen Rutter, The Mask Falling by Samantha Shannon, Witches Steeped in Gold by Sianan Smart, My Life as a Cat by Carly Sorosiak, Threadneedle by Carrie Thomas, Shadows of Winterspell by Amy Wilson, and Punch in the Air by E.B. Spoy and Youssef Salim. So for my classics, I have Emma, Pride and Prejudice, and Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, Something Wicked This Becomes by Ray Bradbury, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, The Secret Garden by Francis Hodgson Burnett, The Way of All Flesh by Samuel Butler, The Magic Toy Shop by Angela Carter, Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens, Carmilla by Sheridan Lafanu, King Solomon's Minds by H. Ryder Haggard, Notre Dame de Paris by Victor Hugo, At the Mountains of Madness by H.P. Lovecraft, Melmoth the Wanderer by Charles Maturin, Moby Dick by Herman Melville, Animal Farm by George Orwell, Black Beauty by Anna Sewell, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson, and Dracula by Bram Stoker. Okay, next I have my children's and middle grade, which is the longest section. <laughs> Eva Evergreen's Semi-Magical Witch by Julie Abe, The Girl in the Course by Hannah Alcaf, The Midler by Kirsty Applebaum, Kiss of the Night Witch, Emblem Island by Alex Astor, October October by Katya Balin, 910 by Nora Rayleigh Baskin, The Great Brain Robbery, and Delivery to the Lost City by P.G. Bell, The Spectre from the Magician's Museum, The Beast Under the Wizard's Bridge, The Tower at the End of the World, The Whistle, The Grave and the Ghost, The House Where Nobody Lived, and The Sign of the Sinister Sorcerer by John Belez and Brad Strickland, Asha and the Spirit Bird, and Tamarind and the Star of Ishtar by Jasmine de Balan, Avi Aberdeen's Letter to the World, and The Mighty Heart of Sunny St. James by Ashley Heron Blake, The School for Nobodies by Susie Bauer, No Ballet Shows in Syria by Catherine Bruton, Moon Locket, Sky Circus, and Shadow Say by Peter Bunzel, Pocket Full of Stars by Aisha Bushby, Frost Hollow Hall, The Girl Who Walked on Air, In Darkland Wood, Letters from the Lighthouse, Sky Chasers, The Somerset Tsunami, and When We Were Warriors by Emma Carroll, The Storm Runner by J.C. Cervantes, The School for Good and Evil by Simon Shanani, Arusha and the Song of Death, and Arusha and the Tree of Wishes by Roshni Chokshi, Epoca The Tree of Life by Ivy Clare, created by Kobe Bryant, The House of Secrets by Chris Columbus and Ned Vizzini, The Dark Deep by Ali Condi and Brandon Reeks, The Pill in the Ice by Catherine Constable, The Marvelous Land of Snurgs by Veronica Cosentelli, How to Train Your Dragon, How to Be a Pirate, How to Speak Dragonese, How to Cheat a Dragon's Curse, How to Twist a Dragon's Tail, A Hero's Guide to Deadly Dragons, How to Ride a Dragon's Storm, How to Break a Dragon's Heart, How to Steal a Dragon's Sword, How to Seize a Dragon's Jewel, How to Betray a Dragon's Hero, and How to Fight a Dragon's Fury by Cressida Cowell, The Peculiar Incident on Shady Street by Lindsay Curry, The Search for Wanda by Tony Dittalizzi, The Lost Hide Warriors by Catherine Doyle, Wilderness by Roddy Doyle, The Trouble with Perfect, and The Battle for Perfect by Helena Duggan, The Pair Affair by Judith Eagle, Space Oddity by Christopher Edge, The Dream Snatcher, Sky Song, Everdark, and Winter Magic by Abby Elphinstone, Sky Pirates, Echo Quickthorn and the Grave Beyond by Alex English, Who Let the Gods Out, Simply the Quest, Beyond the Odyssey, Against All Gods, and Vice by License to Chill by Maz Evans, The Umbrella Mouse to the Rescue by Anna Farga, Voyage of the Sparrowhawk by Natasha Farrant, A Thousand Questions by Sadia Faruqi, Ember and the Ice Dragons by Heather Fawcett, The Clockwork Crow, and The Velvet Fox by Catherine Fisher, The Danger Gang, and The Christmas Horse and the Winter Witch by Tom Fletcher, Twister by Juliet Forrest, Inkheart, Ink Spell, and Ink Death by Cornelia Funke, Darwin's Dragons by Lindsay Galvin, The House of Hidden Wonders by Sharon Gosling, Escape from Mr. Lemoncello's Library by Chris Gravenstein, Life of Riley Beginner's Look by Simon James Green, The Haunting of Pelican City and Ghostcatcher by Sophie Green, The Secrets of Winter House by Ben Goodison, The Girl Who Saved Christmas, Father Christmas in May, and The Truth Pixie Goes to School by Matt Haig, The Peculiar Pegs of Berlin Woods by Samuel J. Halpin, The Griffin Gay by Vashti Hardy, The Girl of Incan Stars, and The Island at the End of Everything by Kerry Millwood Hargrave, One Wish, The Other Alice, and Midnight Magic by Michelle Harrison, The Merry Begot by Julie Hearn, The Mask of Arabella by Anna Horton, The Whispers by Greg Howard, The House of 100 Clocks by A.M. Howell, High Rise Mystery, and Mike Drop by Shauna Jackson, Focus Pocus and the All New Sequel by A.W. Janther, Malice in Wonderland by Jenny Jennings, Freedom and Race of the Frozen North by Catherine Johnson, Charmed Life and Castle in the Air by Diana Wynne Jones, Nicholas St. North and the Battle of the Nightmare King, Easter Bunnymund and the Warrior Eggs at the Earth's Court, To the Honor, Queen of the Tooth Fairy Armies, The Sandman and the War of Dreams, and Jack Frost at the End Becomes the Beginning by William Joyce, Alani of the Distant Sea by Erin Intrada Kelly, Song for a Whale by Lynn Kelly, Tin by Padre Kenny, Create a Lake by Jennifer Killick, The Dead World of Lanthorn Ghouls by Gerald Killingworth, Theodora Hendricks and The Monstrous League of Monsters by Jordan Corby, Tsunami Girl by Chi Kutsuwada and Julian Sedgwick, The Peculiars, The Legend of Podkin Wania, The Gift of Dark Hollow, The Beasts of Grimheart, and Uki and the Outcast by Kieran Norwood, Nooks and Crannies by Jessica Lawson, The Good Bear by Sarah Lee, The Wild Folk and The Wild Folk Rising by Sylvia V. Lindstedt, The House on Hoda Hill by Nikki Lish and Kelly Nye, The Boy, The Mall, The Fox and the Horse by Charlie McKay, The Nowhere Emporium, The Elsewhere Emporium, Shadow Smith, and Evernight by Ross McKenzie, Furthermore by Tahara Moffey, The International Yeti Collective, Shadow Spring by Paul Mason, Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky by Kwame Mbalia, The Time of Green Magic by Hilary McKay, Return to Raw by Jenny McLachlan, The Beast and the Bethany by Jack Mega Phillips, Ghosts of Green Glass House and Blue Crown by Kate Milford, The Boy Who Made the World Disappear, and The Day I Fell into a Fairy Tale by
Ego Kubo. Christmas Dinner of Souls by Ross Montgomery. The Extremely Inconvenient Adventures of Bronte and Metalstone. And The Slightly Alarming Tale of the Whispering Wars by Jacqueline Moriarty. The Mystery of Black Hollow Lane and The Secret of White Stone Gate by Julia Noble. Wish by Barbara O'Connor. The Star Spun Web by Sinead O'Hart. Augie and May by RJ Palacio. The Valley of Lost Secrets by Leslie Paul. The Vanishing of Griffins by S.A. Patrick. The Accidental Wizard by Kimberly Poli. Alana the First Adventure. In the Hand of the Goddess. The Woman Who Rides Like a Man. And Lioness Rampant by Tamora Pierce. City Spies by James Ponty. Beyond Platform 13 by Chevelle Pounder. The Wee Free Man by Terry Pratchett. The Last of the Spirits by Chris Priestley. The Land of Yesterday by K.A. Reynolds. Towers Falling by Jewel Parker Rhodes. The Guardians of Magic by Chris Riddell. Percy Jackson and the Titan's Curse. Percy Jackson and the Battle of the Labyrinth. Percy Jackson and the Last Olympian. The Red Pyramid. Heroes of Olympus, The Lost Hero. The Son of Neptune. The Mark of Athena. The House of Hades. And The Blood of Olympus by Rick Ryder. The Barren Grounds by David A. Robertson. When Money Was There by John J. Robinson. Tommy Gav Krakow by R. M. Romero. The Girl Savage. Good Thieves. Rooftoppers. And The Wolf Wilder by Catherine Rundell. Aladdin Far From Agrabah by Aisha Saeed. The Land of Never Endings by Kate Saunders. Bloom by Nicholas Skinner. The Invasion of Crooked Oak by Dan Smith. The Time Maker's Apprentice by Sherry L. Smith. The Grim Grotto. The Penultimate Peril. And The End by Lemley Snicket. Vampirates Demons of the Ocean by Justin Somper. Green Buns and Crime. A Spoonful of Murder. Death in the Spotlight. Top Marks for Murder. And Death Set Sail by Robin Stevens. Beyond the Deep Woods. Storm Chaser. Midnight Over Sanctifrax. The Curse of the Glow Closer. The Winter Nights. Hash of the Sky Galleons. And The Last of the Sky Pirates by Paul Stewart and Chris Riddell. The Secret of Nine Gilwood by Lucy Strange. A Wolf for a Spell by Cara Sutton. Dragon's Green by Scarlett Thomas. The Boy Who Fooled the World. And The House of Clouds by Lisa Thompson. The Battle of Lighthouse. And The Cutthroat Cafe by Nikki Thornton. Molly Thompson and the Crypt of the Blue Moon by Nick Tomlinson. The Last Wild. The Dark Wild. The Wild Beyond. The Lost Magician. And The Frozen Sea by Piaz Tordi. Breadcrumbs by Anne Ursu. Starfell. Willow Moss and the Forgotten Tale by Dominique Valente. The Light Hunters by Dan Walker. The 1000 Year Old Boy. The Dog Who Saved the World. The Kid Who Came from Space. Time Travelling with a Hamster. And What Not to Do If You Turn Invisible by Ross Welford. The Company of Eight by Harriet Whitehorn. Smellum by C.L. Williams. Oddly Coulter and the Narrow Way Hunt. And Oddly Coulter and the Master of Monsters by Rhiannon Williams. The Boy with a Butterfly Bind by Victoria Williamson. Echo Mountain by Lauren Wock. The Incorrigible Children of Ashton Place. The Mysterious Howling by May Rose Wood. And finally, The Giant's Almanac by Andrew Zercher. Okay, that was all of my middle grade and children's books, so let's get into the young adult books. <laughs> the Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tomi Adeyemi. The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. The Deep Blue Between by Aisha Haruna Atta. Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. White Stag by Cara Barbieri. Shadow and Bone. Siege and Storm. Ruin and Rising. Six of Crows. Kruger Kingdom. And King of Scars by Leigh Bardugo. The Beckoning Shadow by Catherine Blair. A Whole New World. As Old as Time. Once Upon a Dream. Part of Your World. And Straight Until Morning by Liz Braswell. The Song of Wraths and Ruin by Rosanne A. Brown. The Truth About Keeping Secrets by Savannah Brown. In Sealed Don't Feel by Jen Colonita, Shadow Black, Charm Caster, Soulbinder, and Queenslayer by Sebastian de Castell. Wicked As You Wish, The Bone Witch, The Shadow Glass, and The Heart Forger by Rin Chapeco. House of Salt and Sorrows by Erin A. Craig, Charles I View, edited by Ellen Datlow and Terry Windling, Proud, compiled by Juno Dawson, Wicked Saints, and Ruthless Guards by Emily A. Duncan, The Good Hawk by Joseph Elliott, Pet by Aquiki Emetsi, Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman, Heartbreak Boys, Noah Khan Even, and Noah Could Never by Simon James Green, Deep Light by Francis Harding, The Deathless Girls by Kieran Millwood Hargrave, Unrest by Michelle Harrison, Once a Future Witches by Alex A. Harrow, Witch by Finbar Hawkins, Descendant of the Crane by Joan Heath, Say Witch, and Say Witch Rising by Sarah Henning, Evil Star, Night Rise, and Necropolis by Anthony Horowitz, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, and Good Girl Bad Blood by Holly Jackson, You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson, The Space Between Worlds by Micaiah Johnson, Master of One by Jada Jones and Danny Bennett, The Raven and the Reindeer by T. Kingfisher, The Dead House by Dawn Kurdigich, Daughter of the Pirate King, and Daughter of the Siren Queen by Trisha Levenseller, So This Is Love by Elizabeth Lim, The Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn, Kingdom of Ash, and A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Mass, Kingdom of the Wicked by Kerry Manon Scarlo, Seven Devils by Elizabeth May and Laura Lamb, The Cousins by Karen M. McManus, Fairest, and Stars Above by Marissa Meyer, Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer, Gods of Jane and Shadow by Sylvia Moreno Garcia, Monster Calls by Parik Ness, A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik, I Was Born for This, Loveless, Solitaire, Nick and Charlie, and This Winter by Alice Osman, The Wicked Will Rise, Yellow Brick War, and The End of Ours by Danielle Page, Which Sign by Dan Patrick, The Sisters Grim by Mena Van Prague, the Amber Spyglass, The Book of Dust, Volume 1, La Belle Sauvage, and Volume 2, The Secret Commonwealth by Philip Pullman, Out of Tune, and Roland Dice by Beth Rickles, Hollow City, Library of Souls, and A Map of Days by Ransom Riggs, Camp by Elsie Rosen, Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant by Veronica Roth, The Nia Witch, The Archived, The Unbound, This Savage Song, and Our Dog Duet by V.A. Schwab, Lord Loss, Demon Thief, Slaughter, Beck, Blood Beast, Demon Apocalypse, Death Shadow, Wolf Island, Dark Calling, and Hell's Heroes by Darren Chan, Alice in Zombieland by Gina Showalter, The Raven Boys, The Dream Thieves, Blue Lily Lily Blue and The Raven King by Maggie Stifider. Perfectly Preventable Deaths
Fall My Idol Books, Rivers of London by Ben Aronovich, Hoffer King by Joe Abercrombie, Friday Black by Nana Kwame Ajay Brenya, The Power by Naomi Alderman, Girl in the Tower and The Winner of the Witch by Catherine Arden, Jaws by Peter Benchley, Stranger Things Suspicious Minds by Gwenda Bond, My Sister the Serial Killer by Oyen Khan Braithwaite, Meddling Kids by Edgar Cantaro, Imaginary Friend by Stephen Chbosky, The Confessions of Franny Langton by Sarah Collins, Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton, Dark Matter and Recursion by Blake Crouch, Truth Witch and Win Witch by Susan Dennard, Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas, The Choice by Edith Egar, The Witch Home by Tana French, Our Endless Summer Days by Claire Fuller, The Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock by Imogen Hermes Gower, Tahano by Ishla Kayla Gwynn, The Mercies by Kimmy Milwood Hargrave, Midnight Crossroad by Charlene Harris, The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins, We Sold Our Souls by Grady Hendrix, Alice, Red Queen, The Girl in Red, and Lost Boy by Christina Henry, The Traveling Bag by Susan Hill, The Librarian of Auschwitz by Antonio Eterb, The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson, The Last by Hannah Jameson, The Fifth Season and The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemison, Cryo Night by Tim Johnson, The Deep by Oma Katsu, The Wind Through the K Hole, The Gunslinger, The Drawing of the Three, The Wastelands, Wizard and Glass, Wolves of the Color, Song of Susanna, The Dark Tower, 112263, The Dead Zone, The Green Mile, It, Mr. Mercedes, Needful Things, The Outsider, Salem's Lot, The Shining, Doctor Sleep, and On Writing by Stephen King, Nevernight, God's Grave, and Dark Dawn by J. Christoph, The Dragon Republic by R.F. Kwong, Richard Lehman Volume 18 by Richard Lehman, Bird Box by Josh Malaman, Fire and Blood, and The Ice Dragon by George R. R. Martin, Middle Game by Shona McGuire, Cersei by Madeline Miller, The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, The Dark Arts by Oscar de Morial, The Haunting of Drea Cliff Green School by Kim Newman, Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell, The Wave of Flesh by Ambrose Parry, The Nair by Michelle Paver, The Revenant by Michael Punk, Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed, After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reed, The Regular Titan by Morgan Robertson, Chasing Red by Isabel Ronan, Normal People by Sally Rooney, The Name of the Wind, The Wise Man's Fear, and The Soul Regard of Silent Things by Patrick Rothfuss, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, The Conjuring of Light, Vicious, and Vengeful by V.A. Schwab, Once Upon a River by Diane Setterfield, The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society by Mary Ann Schaefer and Annie Barrows, Lullaby by Leila Slamani, Hothead by Damon Swade, Fortuna Swan by K.J. Sutton, Hill Creek by Scott Thomas, The Silmarillion, Ren and Luthien, The Children of Huron, and The Fall of Gondolin by J.R.R. Tolkien, The Witches of Eastwick by John Updike, Fingersmith, The Little Stranger, and finally The Night Watch by Sarah Waters. I think I've messed up on some of these as well, so I don't know if the final count that I said at the start of the video is correct. I will leave the final count, the right final count on the bottom there. Editing me is going to hate me right now. I definitely messed up a lot, so <laughs> you're going to have to fix it, Gav. So that is the video. Those are all of the books that I own physically that are on my TBR, and I have to read them before everything else, hopefully. As I said, I will calm down on buying books in 2021, and I am limiting myself to things that I request from publishers and not opening my wish list or anything like that. So hopefully this TBR will get under control in 2021. So fingers crossed. But that's it. That's the video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it if you made it all the way through. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already. Again, let me know in the comments any that I should prioritize and I will see you in the next video. Bye!